What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 60th Jailbreak Update episode and there is a lot going on in the Jailbreak community right now, so let's go ahead and get caught up. So if you guys watched episode 58, episode 59 was all about iOS 11.4. So episode 58, we talked about the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak and we left off with Ian Beer releasing the VFS exploit. Coolstar and the Electra team being able to jailbreak iOS 11.2.x but running into issues with iOS 11.3.1. And basically we talked about the remount issue with the jailbreak. Well now the Electra team has finally fully jailbroken iOS 11.3.1 but there's still just one thing holding us back from a public release and that is once again the remount issues that we've discussed. Once this remount issue does finally get fixed, we will have a public jailbreak release for iOS 11.3.1. Now Coolstar and the Electra team have multiple zero day exploits that fix the remount issue, but they are not willing to burn them on iOS 11 because since I, you know iOS 11.3.1 is basically the end of iOS 11, they're trying to save them for iOS 12. And here's some clarification from Coolstar. He said, for those asking, no, I'm not going to be using my APFS zero day in an 11.3.1 public jailbreak. Spark Zang has already provided another way to remount it, and we will be using that one when it's ready. There is no sense in burning two APFS remount methods on one jailbreak. So as Coolstar said, Spark Zang does have a fix for the remount issue, but also Jonathan Levin, aka Morpheus, does also have a fix for this. And plus he's already confirmed that he will be updating his software to be compatible with 11.3.1. You can see right here in this tweet he said, by the way, Chi Lin now updated so that it works directly from exploits even without kernel slide value. Liber jailbreaks like Liber iOS will be updated as soon as I manage to improve VFS reliability. I don't want to force a dev cert which I myself do not possess on others. Basically he's talking about a paid developer account when he says dev cert which apparently he does not have himself which is actually pretty surprising. And then for all of those people out there begging for a release, here's what Jonathan Levin had to say in response to those people. Hey ETA folk, which do you prefer for a root FS remount? Half-baked cut paste code which usually works but may totally brick your iDevice now? A rigorously tested code which is tried and true but later? Patience is a virtue. Suppress the urge for instant gratification. And in response to that, Spark Zhang said, be patient. Jonathan Levin told me at MoSec last Friday that he will update Chi Lin maybe this week with APFS rootFS remount for iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. And it also appears that Spark Zhang's remount method has been working for weeks now. The Electra team is basically just trying to stabilize things before putting it in for the public release. So that's why I always stress to you guys, just be patient. Patience is a virtue. We're going to get a jailbreak. We know we're going to get a jailbreak. So just chill out and just wait for it. It's not like you pre-ordered anything or paid for anything or anything like that. So just be patient. We're going to get a release inevitably. And speaking of people nagging over on Twitter, here's what Jonathan Levin had to say in response to somebody yesterday. People, A, I am not working with Coolstar or anyone else. B, I'm doing this on my own spare time for free. No donations or anything either. C, I owe you nothing. D, this is my last priority. After real life and my paying job, don't wait on me and do not harass me, period. And then last night, Coolstar tweeted out something about zero day exploits, which may actually help some of you that aren't familiar with the terminology understand exactly why he's not gonna burn a zero day on iOS 11. He said, remember, a zero day save for iOS 12 can be backported to 11.3.1, but a zero day burned on 11.3.1 may not work on iOS 12 as Apple will probably end up patching it, even though it doesn't really affect device security. Also super annoying Apple signing window BS. And then just about 20 minutes before the recording of this video, Coolstar tweeted out, we, the Electra team, are working on fixing up Spark's bypass ourselves now. Please lay off Morpheus as we are working on it ourselves now. So it's not surprising to see that the Electra team is now working on this as well. There's multiple people working on it, but hopefully we will get it quicker now that the Electra team is working on it. Especially since it is more of a priority for them than it is for somebody like Jonathan Levin or Spark Zhang. Now let's briefly talk about a fake jailbreak that made its rounds earlier this week. So you can see that this jailbreak came from a team called Xiolian. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, which is completely made up and a fake name. But anyways, the jailbreak they supposedly developed was simply an old outdated version of Electra. And to make things worse, it was actually created by someone who has a bad history with releasing sketchy software. I never mentioned his name on the channel and I won't do so here. Most of you guys do know who he is and you can probably see it in the tweets right now anyways. So hopefully none of you guys installed this because it was pretty sketchy from the start. But anyways guys, that was just a quick update on what's going on with the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak and with Electra. So obviously there has been a lot going on over the past week or so, but we are still stuck pretty much in the same spot. There's been a lot of developments, mostly in the back in, but we're still stuck on the rootFS remount issue. And of course, we won't be getting a public release of the jailbreak until that is fixed and until we do have a stable jailbreak. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you are anticipating an iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak, like I'm sure most of you are. Also, a quick side note, guys, I am going to Jamaica. I'm leaving actually tomorrow on Saturday, so I will not be making videos or I won't be live streaming for the next week. Unfortunately, I know I've been slowing down on videos lately, but I will get back up to speed once I get back from this vacation. I just had a lot going on with my other companies and a lot of personal things 
things as well. So just bear with me for a little bit. We'll get through this and I'll be back to normal regular uploads multiple times a week. If you guys want to follow my journeys, I've been going on a lot of trips lately. You can follow me over on Instagram. That link is down below. Also on Snapchat, that is also down in the description below. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna head out of here now. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.